Hey guys, I'm Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist here to help you understand more about your pelvic health. And today we're going to answer this question of, do prunes really help you poop? And why is that even a thing? So let's shed some light on what's going on down there. Your grandma or maybe someone of a different generation has told you once or more than once, if you're feeling a little backed up, just eat some prunes, honey. It'll clean you right out. Um, thanks, Grandma. Is that really a thing or is that just an old wife's tale? Well, I'm here to tell you today, guys, it really is a thing. The key here is water. When you're feeling a little backed up, your poop actually gets a little dehydrated. You need to add more water back to the system. And basically, the more hydrated your poop becomes, and the more water there is in your cold, it's like a little slip and slide in there. It just comes right on out. <laughs> Prunes do that in two ways. One is they are chock full of fiber, insoluble fiber, which helps actually lubricate your poop and help draw water back into the colon. The other thing that prunes have is what's called sorbitol. And sorbitol is a sugar alcohol that's naturally occurring in fruits. And it also is what's called hyperosmotic, which is a fancy way of saying, likes to help bring water to the party. <laughs> so that's why prunes work. But what if you really just don't like prunes? They aren't everyone's favorite thing. Is there anything else you can take? Yes, pretty much any dried fruit um, is a safe bet. It's like raisins, dried apricots, figs, dates, or dried cranberries or craisins as they're called, all contain the same properties. If you're gonna use dried fruit to help with moving your tummy along, you just have to be aware they are really high in sugar. And so if you are diabetic or you have other dietary concerns as far as your sugar intake goes, you might not want to take too many, um, but it is worth playing around with how many um, prunes, somewhere between two to 10 a day, 10 is kind of a lot, but in that range, you're not trying to eat dozens and dozens a day and usually spread throughout the day versus at one time. Thanks for checking out my work, guys. It really means a lot to me. Thanks for coming. See you next time.